Hi, I'm Shalev and I'm at the car washing business training program. Nord Future Clean is an eco-friendly car washing service. It's currently a training course that lasts one year and it's for adults with learning disabilities. Along with the actual physical aspect of learning a car washing skill, they're learning money handling skills, they're learning to work with customers, they're learning to work in teams. Just the actual feeling of having a job for, maybe for you or I, it's something that we take for granted. The confidence that that brings to them, these guys deserve the opportunity and are getting the opportunity to, to have that feeling and know what it's like to be part of something and I'm sure it's a great feeling for them. I love my job and I want to keep my job it brings goodness into my life. They've been off for a week and we miss them. I mean, they do a cracking job. Every time we get it, it's gleaming. So brilliant. I think it's excellent what they're doing. What I like to do is um, I love singing Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. I thought at one stage Shaleb wouldn't make it. He wouldn't make the most of this opportunity due to his behavioural difficulties. But he has made it. And I feel quite strongly that the reason why he has made it is that Norwood have been prepared to offer him an unbelievable amount of support and encouragement. Norwood have taken the worry out of planning for Shaleb's future. Gregory Portnoy and I'm going to Stanmore to work at the Norwood Charity Shop. Travel training as a whole is an important part of our role um, within job coaching and employment. It's not just understanding the job as such, it's, it's enabling an individual to be travel trained and be independent to get to work. I get the 102 to Goldie Screen. Then I get the 240 bus to Edgeware. Then I get the 340 to Stanmore. That's the one. I really enjoy the journey. It makes me feel proud and independent. enabling him to be travel trained and independent to get to work has made a dramatic change into Greg's confidence. The first time he came in to our office and said he did the route all by himself, um, it was just such a great feeling and great to see how enthusiastic and so enlightened he was that he was able to do that and seeing that is worth, you know, you can't ask for anything more. We arrived at the Norwood Charity Shop. When I work here, I do steaming, tagging, work behind the till. I have another job at Kennedy Lee as a caretaker. Greg loves the social interaction, coming to work, being a part of the community, seeing uh, his business colleagues, as he calls them. He enjoys completing the task. There's a self, you know, sense of self-satisfaction. He's proud that he's the guy that comes in and helps out at Kennedy Lee. When service users complete travel training, it increases their confidence, their self-esteem, and their desire to come out into the community. Without travel training, Greg wouldn't be able to come to work. He wouldn't be able to consistently come to work because there isn't the funds there for somebody to support him each time. Had Gregory had the same opportunities when he was younger, the same as Shelev, I think his life would have been far more enriched, he would have been far more independent, and he'd have been open to far more opportunities. But luckily he found it late in life, and hopefully we can't change the past, but we can certainly change the future for him.
Ravenswood Village is in Berkshire and it provides services to people with learning disabilities from residential services through to lifelong learning services. We have a learning hub which offers people opportunities to gain skills in computers, literacy, numeracy and other life skills. We also have a cafe where our work hub is based so people learn employment skills whether that be working in the cafe or around the village delivering post. These opportunities are not only for people that live here, we also offer these to people that don't live within the village which is a really nice way to bring people from the local community in to share our experience and the support that we can offer and for people that live here to meet new people and make friends. Helen has lived at Ravenswood Village for most of her life and through lifelong learning she is involved in our social enterprise and part of the social enterprise we make crafts, jewellery which we sell online and in our shops and she feels real value in that. Julian encompasses everything about lifelong learning. We're making spaghetti with garlic and chilli. Spaghetti with chilli. He accesses as many things as he possibly can. He loves working in the cafe and is very proud that he serves people food that they enjoy. Working in the kitchen like this, they feel very good at what they're doing and they enjoy creating new food which is appreciated by the customers. And when they go out of here, they feel very good about themselves. Julian's also a key member of the athletics team at Ravenswood and trains at Bracknell Sports Centre. These are my Special Olympics medals. Gold medals are for the championships. Nord believes that everybody, no matter what their ability, is entitled to the same opportunities that you and I have. If I did it have Norwood, it I'd be out in the street. I'd be miserable. Life's been pretty tough with Shalev, but if somebody had turned round to us 24 years ago and said, you know what, Laura? Shalev is actually going to be all right and he is going to end up with a point to his life, a focus to his life, and you're going to be very proud of him. I'd have said, please. But you know what has happened? It has happened. The service and opportunities that Norwood provide are crucial for the people we support. And that's why it's absolutely vital that we continue to be supported in the fantastic work that we do. Thank you for your support. Without your amazing generosity, we just simply couldn't provide the services that we do to such a variety of people. So please continue to support Norwood and give as much as you can.